Experts say some basic things can help you stay comfortable today and tomorrow. KCR 3's Leticia Ordaz live at McKinley Park to explain. Leticia. Good morning, Brandy and Mike. I know what I'm doing right now. I am standing in the shade and staying cool this morning, but a lot of joggers out here at McKinley Park have the right idea with those big jugs of water they are carrying today. They are working out early and they are staying hydrated to beat this triple digit heat that's expected for later. Some other advice includes taking a cold shower during the peak of the heat or using a cold wash rag on your neck or wrist to cool your body down immediately. And if you have a box fan, you are encouraged to use it. You should also close your curtains or blinds to cool off your home and it's a good idea to close the doors of the rooms that you aren't using in your home to keep the cool air flowing in the spaces where your family hangs out the most and experts say plan ahead and cook in the morning if you can with a slow cooker to avoid heating up your home with the oven later also frozen treats they sound like a good idea but doctors say limit yourself to one because all of that sugar can make you feel worse in the heat we talked to people at McKinley Park this morning about the best ways that they beat the heat. I tell you what I do. It's always great to use somebody else's AC and the easiest ones it's grocery store. Go at uh, noon one o'clock two o'clock and use the grocery store's AC and in the early evening if it's still too hot go to the local bar because they all have AC and those are the ways that I think of to try to stay cool and save on my electric bill. And Tom has some good ideas right there. And according to SMUD, they suggest that you set your thermostat at 78 degrees or higher to save on your electric bill. And if you don't want to turn your AC at all, well, then you can head over to a cooling center that can also keep you cool for the rest of the day.